To ensure the Vera heat can be fully commissioned, it is the installer's obligation to confirm that the installation of the AHU and all adjoining services are complete and fully operational. The installer will confirm this by returning the pre-commissioning checklist prior to the attendance. An incomplete installation will likely result in part commissioning or an aborted visit. The installer should also switch on the AHU prior to attendance following the initial startup procedure as demonstrated. Startup should be carried out a minimum of 72 hours prior to commissioning to ensure air and water temperatures and humidity conditions stabilise. If the touchscreen fails to start, check the phase rotation, miniature circuit breaker and the touchscreen cable connections as demonstrated. As an engineer, it is paramount that you are also prepared, ensuring that you have the tools to hand to commission the AHU. To begin commissioning, carry out a visual inspection of the AHU externally and internally. The external inspection will allow opportunity to ensure the installation is complete, report any transport or installation damage and ensure that full access is available for future works such as maintenance and repair. Again, inspect the unit internally to ensure the installation is complete and that no damage has occurred. In both instances, take photographs as evidence. Using the touchscreen, activate service mode located in service settings and the commissioning and servicing menu. Check that the sensors are calibrated accurately by taking manual temperature and humidity readings and comparing these to those on the AHU. Apply an offset if this is necessary. Additionally, make note of the current set points. Whilst working through the commissioning report, Make note of the AHU version, any features that are in use, and record any alarms highlighted in green. Note the customer terminals in use. These are located in the bottom left hand corner of the electric box. To ensure that the main and fresh air fan are running in the correct direction, simply check the direction of airflow against the arrow located on the side of the fan. Take corrective action should this be necessary. As a default, the main fan will adjust to achieve the design airflow of the AHU. To suit the project requirements, you can also adjust the minimum airflow field as necessary. Again, the fresh air fan can be adjusted in the same way to suit the project. Note any adjustment to the damper positioning as a result. These are located in the service settings menu as demonstrated. Finally, record the winter mode settings also located in the service settings menu. Force the compressor on for dehumidification demand, recording the evaporating and condensing pressures by attaching refrigeration gauges to the service ports. Also take note of the return air temperature and humidity. Follow on by recording the compressor running amps and loaded voltages in the main terminal block. To commission the low pressure hot water heating coil, follow the instructions as bullet pointed. Prior to leaving site, it is time to take the final air, water and humidity set points to complete your report. Again, these are located on the home screen and can be recorded in the set point menu in user settings.
If the time clock is in use, record the occupied and unoccupied time settings as demonstrated. Reset the service interval in the servicing log. And finally, set the commission's defaults in the default section in the service settings. To support the commissioning, take photos of all angles of the HE so that we have record of its installed location. Please also send the commissioning report in a timely manner back to Dantham. Thank you.